So I grew up in a trailer park, uh, and every trailer park is sketchy for its own special reasons. But mine was sketchy because it was full of tweakers and cookhouses. Now, if you don't know what a cookhouse is, it's the place where they actually manufacture that Tina. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's just a Northwestern euphemism, but I'm trying to be slippery here so this video doesn't get blacklisted by the TikTok robo army. Uh, but anyway, there was a cookhouse on almost every single street in my trailer park, and this is a story about the one that was on mine. So the cookhouse on my street wasn't actually a cookhouse until I was about five. Uh, the main dude, Chris, it was his mom's house, and when she died, he inherited the house, and at that point, he crawled out of whatever layer of hell he was living in and brought with him a small army of tweakers to turn the place into a cookhouse and to entertain the gentle folk of 117th Street with their antics. Now, there was always people in the front of the house and in the driveway just causing a ruckus. Like, EMS was there all the time, cops were there all the time. As kids, we wouldn't even walk by the driveway because it was scary as shit. We would go way out of our way to take a trail that went back behind all the houses to get in and out of our yard. So the house was a problem uh, until it wasn't. So one night when I'm like 9 or 10, which makes this like 94, 95, I'm sleeping in my room and I'm awoken by a very loud boom. I walk out of my room and about the same time one of my sisters is walking out of her room. She's like, did you hear that? I'm like, yeah. We walk over to the front door. There's a window next to the front door and we look out and the cookhouse is on fire. Uh, an EMS and the fire truck is already there, so it's been burning for a while. And a couple seconds later, my dad walks down the hallway and he's like, what's going on? I'm like, the crazy house is on fire. Uh, and that's what we call it as kids was the crazy house because we weren't exactly up on all the drug lingo yet. So he comes over, he looks out the window and he's like, stay here. And he goes out the front door. Now, my dad was a soft man with a temper. So if he was angry, you need to make yourself scarce. But most of the time you could just do stuff and he'd be like, ah, oh, you scamp. So I look at my sister, I'm like, we're not staying here. We go out the back door or on the side of the house to get a better look. So we lived two houses down from the cookhouse, uh, but our house was up on a hill relative to theirs. So on the side of the house, we could see the street, the driveway, and the front of the house. Now, the back half of the house was the thing that was mostly burning, but that was obscured by our neighbor Bobby's house. But in the street, we could see in the back of the EMS truck, and there was somebody in there with a bandage on their hand and their face. And then in the driveway was a red Honda Civic, and there was two strung out people standing next to that that were screaming at the firemen. And these two people were completely naked. So as we're taken in the scene, my neighbor Bobby walks around the far side of his house with a hose in his hand because apparently the explosions are throwing burning shrapnel into his yard and onto his roof. Uh, my dad's like, what the hell's going on, Bobby? Bobby's like, Chris messed something up, man. He's missing most of one of his hands, and I think his eye is gone. My dad's like, damn, what's up with the nudists? He's like, oh, they were having sex in the car. They're mad at the firemen because they interrupted him. My dad's like, while the house was burning? Bobby's like, and then at that point, Bobby sees me and my sister, and he's like, you got some company. My dad looks down, and he's like, damn it, I told you to wait inside. And I don't remember what we said to him, but at that point, we run over to where he's at on the front porch. So we stood there for about another half hour and watched that house burn. Uh, at some point, the cops show up and scoop up those two crazy people, which for some reason they were still naked. Uh, the next morning when we got up, that house was just a smoking ruin, another monument to meth in our illustrious community. And the sad part is it wasn't even out of the ordinary. It was like one of five or ten burnout cookhouses in the trailer park. Uh, and I think that there's a house there now, but for about 15 years after this happened, it was just a burnt husk sitting on that lot. And I saw Chris a couple years after this happened, and he was missing his middle three fingers uh, and his left eye. He was out there looking like a scabby meth pirate. Now, there is no amount of money on Gaia's terra firma that you could pay me to live next to Tweakers again.